This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. I've always really liked programs that give me simplicity and added value to my netbook, making my daily work and play much easier. One of these such programs is a tool called RainMeter. It's an application that lets you place skins on your desktop that can measure and display tons and tons of different kinds of information. Some of the things you can tinker with and enjoy are things such as the system info, launchers and docs, music players, there's an RSS feed that you can add in, a Facebook feed, Gmail inbox, which is very, very nice for me, a weather app, and tons others. The skins are fully customizable, and they're merely just a .ini text file that you can change or alter to meet all of your specifications. RainMeter is open source, and it was made for geeks by Geeks. It runs on all versions of Windows, including 64-bit, yes! And it also has a portable version, which I love, is near and dear to my heart, which is also available for download. My favorite part about RainMeter, though, is the ability to customize all of the different skins. If you don't read Lifehacker, you don't have to keep it in the RSS feed, the, in, in the Illustro app. You can choose to edit it or delete it. So, for example, in mine, I went into Edit Skin, I browsed down to where the link to Lifehacker was, and then I changed it to the Hack5 feed with hack5.org slash feed. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. You just have to right click, Edit Skin, and then all of this information in this text, the feeds.ini text file, is completely customizable. You can do whatever you want with it. So I just need to go down here and find the website URL. There we go. It's feed URL equals. Now this used to be Lifehacker, but I just filled it in with hack5.org slash feed, closed it, and then I chose refresh skin and it shows up with all of the Hack 5 techno goodness. Delicious. So now I'll immediately see every time we have a new episode that comes out. I was also able to change the clock.ini skin so that the date and time is formatted to all of my specs. And I messed around with the color a little bit as you can see with the Hack 5 skin. You can also download other recommended theme packs at the RainMeter website. For example, I downloaded this really cool one called NoMeter, which I actually like a little bit more. It comes with a lot of handy tools already built in, like the Gcal and the Gmail inbox. So let me pull that one up real quick so I can show you guys. Go into... And you just have to go to, down to themes wherever you downloaded it to and click on the one that you like the most. Okay, so I pulled up Nominer and there's a whole bunch of different kind of skins that are already developed into this theme. There's the system preferences, the clock, and some of my favorites, the feed for Facebook, which I can just click on and it automatically takes me to my Facebook, the G calendar, and the feeds for news such as Top Stories and Gizmodo, very handy, and Life Hackers right there as well. So once you get the feel of .ini files and how to edit them, you can start creating your own, which is the best part. Now, I haven't started creating my own personal skin. I've just been customizing some of the available themes. But have you tried it? Are you interested in seeing a skin that doesn't exist yet? Make sure to email me at feedback at hack5.org to check it out. And coming up next, we will be answering some of your questions, but first, let's take a break and then check in with Darren for the nibble. We were asked, what would Hack 5 be like if it were a paranormal investigation show? So we went to domain.com and registered a .tv to find out. These are the Hack Files. Agent Kitchen. When you said a thousand decapitated rubber duckies washed up on shore, <laughs> you weren't kidding, were you? No. I can only imagine this is the result of a crashed alien spacecraft and their deranged experiments. And what makes you say that? The wreckage. That's a soda can. Yeah. Look! There! One of the alien creatures! What? I mean, I mean, back over here. Right here. Agent Kitchen, have you been drinking again? It's a stuffed cephalopod. Who would plant a stuffed cephalopod at the scene of a crime? <gasps> Paul Tobias. Oh. 
If you're building a video site or your website has a play button, a .tv domain is the way to go. .tv websites let you showcase your original content and create a unique site, not just another YouTube channel. Go to domain.com and search for the perfect .tv domain for your new idea. Then use the coupon code HAK5 at checkout to save an extra 15%. Looking for hosting? Save 15% on that too at domain.com. Got a great idea? It all starts with a great domain. Domain.com. All right, this nibble was sent in from like everyone on Google Plus and Twitter and Facebook and emails and everything. And it's a really simple one that harkens back to my old edit.com days. And no, I'm not talking about a website. It's uh, instead of control C, control V and control X, it's copy with control insert and cut with shift delete and paste with shift insert. It's great because it works across the board in just about every OS I've ever touched, and any program that's not going to, by default, be looking for those key combos, which is great in case, like, your terminal doesn't like it. Anyway, great tip. Thank you guys so much. Of course, you guys know you can send in your four bits at hack5.org nibble.